The city of Kathmandu is shrouded in a perpetual gloom as leaden clouds drizzle rain over grieving families. On the banks of the Bagmati River, wisps of smoke spiral upwards from the many funeral pyres. This couple are saying goodbye to their relatives, a family of four killed in the quake. Rupla tells me of his sorrow and how he feels lonely every day since his loved ones were taken from him. Amidst this misery, there are flickers of hope. This man is badly injured, but he is alive, rescued from the dust and rubble of a collapsed building in the capital. But for every survivor, there are many more dead. Bodies still lie in the streets awaiting collection as people go about their business as best they can. The power of this natural disaster was immense. These pictures show the moments the ground erupted on the Tibetan side of the border. Many people are still missing. Others have been forced to abandon their homes and possessions. Sunda is trying to coax his dog down. It won't leave the house, even though it's dangerously unstable. His family are now staying with friends. The authorities can't cope. There's not much aid reaching these broken places. Just I want to cry, nothing to say. Where to live, where to stay, that's the main problem. The destructive force of this earthquake has been very random. Some buildings have survived intact, other areas have been completely devastated. This is a neighbourhood in a town just outside Kathmandu. You can see this family's home. The side of their house just fell away as the ground shook. These children are living under tarpaulin after their orphanage was badly damaged. But these are not songs of joy. They're frightened and are scared to move from open ground. What keeps them, you know, intact is the fact that they're together and they're singing songs and, you know, just trying to forget. But I think they're pretty scared. Like, a couple of these uh, babies, you know, they're really not. There's been other tremors yeah, yeah, as well. Tremors, yeah, because of that, and they're just too horrified to get inside the building. The fear is widespread. The tented cities are sanctuary from the aftershocks, but they offer little respite from the elements. Many people are now trying to leave, heading from the danger zone, however they can. Alex Rossi, Sky News, Kathmandu.